Fahad from Saudi? Yes, Sankhya. Sankhya Allah? Yes, I have uh, two questions. My first question is that I follow the view of uh, Sheikh Abdul Mumin and also your view that uh, there is no uh, set limit of days for traveling. There is so what? My question is that Th there is what? There is no set. Uh, there is no set limit of uh, days for uh, travelers. Like you can shorten okay. your trips after three days as well. Okay. So my question is that uh, I'm going to Canada. The, the Sheikh uh, Ibn Sayyid he said that it is permissible even if it's for more than a year. So my question is that I'm going to Canada, and I well, like 100%, I'm planning on coming back uh, to Saudi Arabia. So my question is, I'm going there for three or four years. Can I still uh, shorten my prayers if I am 100% set on coming back? Okay, I will answer and, inshallah. Uh, Fahad from Saudi Arabia, he says that I follow the opinion of Sheikh Ibn Uthaymeen, which previously was the opinion of Sheikh Ibn uh, Taymiyyah and Ibn Qayyim, which is according to the Quran and Sunnah that there is no limit for the days you spent for shortening your prayer when traveling. So he says, if I'm going to Canada for four years and I know exactly what month and date I'm coming after four years, can I shorten my prayer? The answer is definitely not. Regardless of who says you can, it is definitely not. Why? Akhi, Allah Azza wa Jal gave you the concession of shortening your prayer if you're a traveler. I'm in Egypt. And I'm here for two weeks. So when anyone calls my home back in Saudi, they will say, Asim is traveling. So I am a traveler. Therefore, I shorten all of my prayers. I have no problem in that. But if I go for a job or to do my master's or PhD or for any reason to the UK, for example, and I get an apartment, it's furnished, so I know where I'm living and staying, I put food in the fridge, so now I am settled. This may take a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks, maybe four weeks, but now I'm settled. I know what time exactly I have to go to the masjid and when to come back and when to wake up for tahajjud. And I'm acquainted with the surroundings and I'm settled. Now I cannot shorten or combine. Why? Because I'm, I have settled. But those who travel, whether they know when they're coming back or not, yet they are still on the move, always on the move, not settled. Maybe from one state to the other, to the third, maybe from one house to the other every couple of days or couple of weeks, they're not settled yet. Yes, they shorten. The moment they settle and they feel home, this is when they must complete. 